So there's this really nice mathematical trick that I just learned about and I never knew it when I was at university when I did my A-levels or even GCSE. Say for example, we wanted to work out 68% of 75. Well, this is a really simple sum to do in your head. Once you realize that 68% of 75 is the same as 75% of 68. Okay, so if we think about what 75% is, you know, what's three quarters of 68? Well, half of this is equal to 34. Half of that again is 17, so that's 50%, that's 25%, which means the total is equal to these two numbers added together, which is just equal to 51. And that's the final answer. Now, if I just check this on my calculator, if I wanted to work out 68% of 75, I do 0.68 multiplied by 75, which is also 51. So basically, what we can say is that A% percent of B is the same as B% percent of A. Okay, and then you can obviously uh, maybe not tell people about this, you can amaze them at parties with your mathematical ability. So why is that? Well, there must be something mathematical about this. Well, there is, because A% percent of B is the same as A divided by 100 multiplied by B. Now this is then the same as a times b divided by 100. And we can also write this as a times b over 100. So what we have here is a percent of b, and what we have here is just b percent of a, and we can see that the two things are indeed the same. So just a nice little mathematical trick that you can amaze people with, you can show off at parties, um, and it's something that uh, I just find really pleasing, especially that little proof down there, but it's something that you can try several different things and just work it out in your head, and you'll see that a percent of b is always the same as b percent of a.